Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And we are back today to finish this custom journal and um, have a real life friend that requested a journal from me and um, I am having some fun making it. Uh, I've showed y'all, I showed y'all yesterday, well, in the video that I uploaded yesterday, um, if you're watching this video in the future, then um, I will have the other video that is linked to this journal in my description box below. Um, you saw me do the um, spine and how I reinforced the spine and put on, you know, this front decoration and the fabric and frayed it and stuff like that and how I did the closure and um, I went ahead and put in the signature and you saw how I was going to uh, arrange the pages inside this so um, I will show you how I put in the signature here.
And I have decided I'm going to put this one piece of, this was a, I think an M Scrapbusters from a long time ago. It's one of those side um, stack pockets. So it's got a pocket here. It's got a pocket here. And then it has a pocket here. And this is the middle of the signature, so I decided that I would put that. I'm going to glue that down here and have that little tab sticking out from the signature. I really like that. Um, we still got to do the inside pockets, whatever we're wanting to do for inside pockets. But I do have a couple of different things that I want uh, maybe for the cover already kind of put together I just got to lay it out and then something to cover a little bit of that very front page of the signature but um, like I said in the previous video um, this um, the recipient of, recipient of this journal is wanting it as a writing journal so I want to leave her plenty of writing space so there's not going to be too much decorating on the pages I might find a stamp of some kind and um, do a couple of uh, stamps, stamped images along the way. But um, we're going to get this glued in and then figure out what kind of interior pockets we need to make.
So there is my page decorating so far in this journal. And um, I told y'all I had quite a few ideas already. So I went ahead and just sped that up for you and um, showed you what I put in there. I will have a final flip through at the end also. Um, let's try and get the cover decorated. And I have some stuff picked out. I don't know if I want to use all of it or not, but I did make this tag specifically for this um, cover. And I really love how that goes with all of that. We've got leaves over here. We've got leaves on this. Um, we've got this tan kind of um, creamy look on the polka dots. We've got that color in this tag also. Um, it's just, I don't know how I want to decorate everything yet. I love that piece of eucalyptus, but I mean, and it is a, like a transparency almost when you put it on. So you would still be able to see, y'all have got a glare because that is a transparent sticker. There we go. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. And you would still be able to see some of the um, pattern of the tag back behind it, even when I put that on. I really like that. And just kind of let it hang off the edge there and let it hang here. I do also have these butterflies that I was thinking about putting on there, but I don't know if I put that tag on there, it's got that coming up from it. So that takes care of the top there. It's got this coming off the edge. So that takes care of that kind of blank space there from the book cover and this, I might would put on a word label of some kind, maybe here, but I do have these butterflies and one by itself yeah but then watch when I put all three down see so I'm thinking I do really like that one alone because it does go with the blues that are in this um, Tim Holtz wallpaper tag that I made but I'm not sure maybe if I do that butterfly there to kind of do something with that um, spine border and then have the eucalyptus there have the tag back behind and then put a word label. Maybe that'll even everything up and I will like the look better. Let's see. I might want to put a little bit of book page back behind this tag on this side, just going all the way down and just have it kind of ripped and showing there on the edge. I'm thinking that's going to work really well and let's look and see I want a little just short 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 word label but see I want it to be kind of generic because I don't know exactly what all she's going to be using the journal for so I just want to make sure that it's a general statement. Uh, I'm loving me this trio. It says, be original, be authentic, own your dreams. Oh, I mean, how inspiring can that be? I absolutely, totally love that. And that is what I'm going to know. I'm going to get me some book page to put back behind here and give me a little bit of extra oomph oomph on there. But I'm loving that. Love, love, loving that cover. 
So I'm going to put these, I'll add these butterflies into the book somehow on pages or something. And let's get some book page. And I need tall book page too. So let's see here. If I've got one that is tall enough and a full page of words. Okay, I'm going to trim off this edge here. Okay, and then I just need a little bit, just a little. Okay, let's see if that's, that is long enough, and it is enough just to get me some words back behind, so then if I come down to here, okay, and then I'm going to trim off there. And then I'm going to trim off here. Just try to do a straight across and then it doesn't cooperate with me. Uh, I'm going to do the walnut stain on the edge of this just because it looks the best on book page and this is barely going to be seen so I think we'll be okay with a little bit of brown ink showing on this shabby chic journal okay and then I'm going to make lots of noise before I finally get my ruler put up I'm going to put some liquid glue on this book page so it's not falling off anywhere. And then pick it up and even it out. Then I'll get my messy rag and daub off any excess glue. Put it back on the cover to see what it looks like. I'm not going to put my adhesive all the way to the edge here because we are going over that eyelet just a little bit. So um, I don't want in time, you know, after you she opens and closes this a couple of times that um, might warp up or fray or something. So if it's not attached, it's going to give her a little bit more give. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use my fabric glue just to make sure that everything gets adhered. So I'm going on the back of the tag that I've made, not all the way out on the edge of that book page but I am going out about eighth and eighth of an inch away from it but then I'm really putting the fabric glue to the back of this tag so that it stays really well on this cover and y'all saw on that other video Miss Paula's um, journal that she made me and gave to me she had a tag on the front of her journal too and it's actually if I'm not mistaken it is actually a workable tag that is a tuck so I would be able to tuck little treasures back behind that tag if I wanted to okay and for the front, I want to make sure that everything is even Stevens and down very well. That looks almost 
exactly how I want it. I want to come down just a tad. I like that. And then see that's over that eyelet just a little bit, but nothing um, major that's going to harm it in the months and years to come as far as use. Okay, I'm going to um, Forest Moss ink just a little bit on the tips of the butterfly's wings and put that out to the side here. Okay, and then I'm going to work my little fingers off trying to get that transparent backing off of this eucalyptus and I'm going to try to do it without bending it too much. I know everybody has told me, you know, that's the advice everybody's given me as far as getting these uh, backs off of these um, is, oh, bend it, bend it, it'll, it'll be fine. Just bend it and it'll come apart from its backing. Well, I don't want it to look bent on my project though. So I am going to be trimming off the tail end of this stem. So there we go. I started it that way. As I was talking, imagine that while I'm flapping my gums, I got it to come away. That's craziness. All right, I don't want to go off of the book at all, but I want to kind of stay in the center of my tag. So I'm just going to kind of manipulate this around how I need it. And then I can come back with fabric glue if I need to on any part of this to get it glued down better. And then let's trim off the bottom of that stem. Yay. I love how that looks. Beautiful. I'm going to get my bone folder. Just go across that. Make sure everything's nice and secured down. Okay, and then I have my words here to put on. And I just love how that looks. I love how they look just like they are. They're kind of wonked, not straight. That's totally in line with being original and authentic. So I really do like that. Let's pull on your dreams down just a touch and then go back down with it like that. Let's see. Yep, I like that. So what I'm going to do, usually when I'm dealing with alpha stickers or, um, you know, word stickers like this, I will attach them to my ruler first. Yep, that's how I want them. And um, then I'll attach just the one side. I'm going to put, these are already have adhesive on the back, but I'm going to put just a tiny bit more to help them out. But I put it on the edge of my ruler. And then plop them down. So they're where I want them to be. And then I have to move it off the edge of my desk. Sorry. I know I'm out of frame. And then I pull my ruler around like this. And so you get that. And then you can place them the rest of the way down. You can put adhesive on the other side and they're placed where you want them to go already. And you're not doing it blindly one at a time. That's always helped me with my alpha stickers and stuff. I like that. I want B original to go over just a touch more. Now that I've got it down on my book. Yep, 
This is cute, y'all. And I will, of course, have a still shot at the end of the video so you can see that much better. Oh, I love how that looks. That's pretty if I do say so myself. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so inside pockets. I am thinking I'm just going to do a little uh, secretarial pocket. So a little triangle it's for a shoop shoop here and a shoop shoop on the back. I've got this nice um, tag notebook when you undo the top seam binding. And of course, if you don't have long fingernails, that is a lot easier to do. Um, when you undo that, you open it up and you've got a little um, pocket for ephemera that if you wanted to add you could do gift cards in there <laughs> that I didn't even take that out before I stored this away and then you've got a little scrap paper notepad in there too and I want that to be inside this front secretarial pocket so that's why I've got this out and then I've got a tag here that will go in that back pocket and it has plenty of writing space on it. And I want to put some of that green ink on the back of, or on the edges of that one. But especially, yeah, on the back where the coffee dyed paper is. But I think that will go very cute in that front pocket. She likes teal and um, kind of shabby chic kind of stuff. This is a little on grunge side, but it's got that nice teal uh, patina in it and so I thought she would really like that um, if you saw in here like this is sticky notes and she can use them there or she can take them completely off the page and use them in other areas of the journal um, most of this is just little pieces of ephemera you saw I made some fabric um, topped paper clips and then here's just a little strip of fabric. I will use another strip of that in the back side of the signature. Uh, stamped there. More fabric there. And then just have washi on the edge here. And then a little butterfly there. Made a tab little cluster on that page. And that is another um, laser cut piece of ephemera. And then you see polka dots through the page there. This is a tuck I made on this side. So that's just an extra piece of food color dyed copy paper um, for her to use, um, you know, more journaling, stuff like that. I'm going to do a complete flip through at the end. That's one of my book page flip up pockets. So that's got extra journaling space on that and then that's about where I got to so I still need to um, decorate pages from here on and then we're to the signature the middle of the signature and there's that pocket that we put on at the very beginning I stamped there and then that's another book page uh, flip up pocket with extra journaling space there and I wanted this to go in this journal because it's got some of that polka dot um, cardstock that I used on the front and back covers in it so it matches the journal and then there's another one of those uh, fabric topped paper clips so now I've just got to um, figure out placeholder right there so I'll know where I got to as far as decorating I need to figure out what paper I want to use as my secretarial pockets and go ahead and get those put in and put my tags in finish decorating 
uh, what decorations I'm going to put in on the pages because like I said she's using this as a true writer's journal so I don't want to take up all of her writing space and I have already told her that there's over 70 pages front and back of writing space so there's actually I think 82 pages front and back but I knew that I wanted to cover a few of them <laughs> Uh, so that's why I told her there's over 70 uh, pages front and back to write on. So she'll have plenty of space. Um, but let me go ahead and pick out that paper. And I think it might come from the Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper pack. Because it is some really, really cute paper. And it matches because that's what I used for the front. Okay. All right, so I am done, I do believe, I think, maybe. <laughs> uh, 
I had to hold myself back from decorating a little bit too much in this one, but I think that I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Let me get my lids on my inks really quick before I forget to do that when I finish my video. But um, I'm going to give you a flip through. I hope that Miss Tanya that gets this, friend of mine, really enjoys it. And um, it is useful for whatever she is wanting to use it for. I'm going to close it up real quick just to show you what it looks like. So there is it knotted just once. You could knot it one more time to keep it. But it, it turned out nice and chunky. I was skeptical at first that I was going to get this one to be chunky. But it is. I, I like I like the girth of it. It looks good. I like that. Let me get this glaring ruler out of the way for you. Some of this other stuff out of the way. So we have plenty of room to flip through and look. My stamps out of the way over here. I'll put all of them up later. Alright, so. Still didn't finish my coffee. I'll go heat it up. <laughs> <laughs> here is the front and we don't have as much of a glare because it's kind of a it's got a sheen on it that transparent sticker so it's not as shiny once the backing comes off of it I think the covers turned out quite nicely I'm not going to do anything to the back um, if she puts it on a bookcase or something that will get um, really eat up if I put something on the back the front uh, this might be like a little showpiece on a bookcase so I'm not as concerned about the front if there's things that's popped up on it so that might be something that's you know in the forefront on a bookcase and then you know you've got your closure here you can either uh, tie a tiny bow or you can do a loose double knot and still be able to get it um, apart easily. I adore all of the shabby chic little poke outs up top. So I've got some uh, decorative paper clips. I've got some tag toppers and all of that's kind of sticking out. And then page edges are also sticking out. I love that. Too cute. So when we open it up, we have just a simple little um, secretarial uh, triangle pocket with two pieces in it that can be some extra journaling space and then inside of that is extra journaling space you just have to undo um, your ribbon at the top now I have shared this video with Miss Tanya the recipient so that she can see the interactive stuff that's in it too so um, if I'm going through and I say now you can do this I'm talking to Tanya <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the front inside cover and then this first the front of the signature Has this little pocket here. So there's extra journaling space there and it has a little pocket here So extra journaling space there and I put um, What this book actually is and it's a journal. That's one of uh, Mom's creations. I do believe from a digital of hers and then I just put a little bit of this um, light peach rick rack there on the edge of that page. Not doing too much decorating on these pages because I want you to be able to write as much as your heart desires on it. There's some um, gold kind of flake uh, washi tape at the bottom of that. A little piece of scrap paper that was used as this tag here that I put there with a little um, um, word phrase. And then there's sticky notes there that can be taken off of this page or left there. You can write a note here, stick another one there. So you've got several there on that page. Just a little leaf accent there. And then you've got one of your decorative uh, paper clips there that can be moved anywhere in the journal that you want. Uh, it can be used as place markers. There is some fabric on the edge of that page. Nice shabby chic touches through it. 
a uh, little bit of stamping on this page more fabric here and some old postage stamp looking uh, digitals that I had printed out and put on there for you and we get more of this fabric at the very end of the journal just have some striped washi tape on the edge here of that page little butterfly die cut there on that page I have a tab on this page with some washi back behind it and a little butterfly on the other side of that page uh, another die cut there at the top of that page and then you flip it over and I know how much you love music so I used a music stamp here and um, made this a little tuck so this is some extra journaling space here and you can just tuck it in there um, if you have memorabilia or something from an event you want to remember um, some kind of pamphlet or something that you received or uh, an announcement of some kind of reward or something that you received you can tuck it back here in this and you have another one of these tucks in the back and then this is one of my uh, book page flip up pockets with some extra journaling space on this tag here Uh, some old book page is actually a page out of this book that I used <clears throat> excuse me that I used the cover of this book so that's a page out of this original book with some lace trim over the top of it on the edge of that page and some of it is still trying to um, dry all the way so we got a little bit that's trying to stick together and then just a little piece of washi and a little um, butterfly die cut there I really like how simple but pretty that is then here's the middle of this whole book and you've got some lace and your twine that is holding this book together here in the middle and then you've got space to write here and then this is a triple pocket so you've got um, a tag here that you can write on the back you've got a tag or a journal spot here that you can write on the front and then you've got this pocket here that's got this tag and you can write on the back of that and um, this had a bunch of the coral and teal that you had said that you liked on it so I thought it went really well this was a piece that I had made back last year that I just had in my stash and was waiting for the perfect journal for it to go in and yours is it so there is that center then this is one of my favorite little I mean it's simple it's just a die cut but I thought that was so pretty and you've still got plenty of room to write <clears throat> excuse me again my throat is wanting to clog up I have some more of that same fabric from up front there on the edge of that page um, a little phrase sticker on that page another one of my book page flip up pockets that I've made on videos on my YouTube and this um, paper matches this paper that's on the front and back of your journal so I thought that, that went well and again another piece that I had in my stash and was just waiting for the perfect journal for it to go in and then I made a little tab with some washi there with word phrases on both sides a uh, little bit of torn wallpaper paper <laughs> uh, on the edge here and I didn't ink that at all I like the white um, edging and um, it goes along with the shabby chic look too so left that as is little butterfly die cuts on that page this is one of my favorites I need to put a little bit more glue back behind this leaf here um, this is one big die cut but it's of course going to cover a whole page if I were to have just put it on one page so I put partial on one page cut off my excess and then put the rest over here on this page 
I love how that looks. Very intentional looking, but um, it was one piece that I cut in different places to use on two different pages. So I really like that. Uh, you've got another um, of, of the fabric paper clips there on that page that can be moved anywhere in the um, journal that you wish. Here's another one of those tucks with the music stamp on it. And I don't go all the way across on the bottom of my tuck, so if there's something that's taller you want to put back behind here, it can go down really far if you want it to. And then that is just folded up uh, food color dyed paper that I dyed myself, hand dyed paper, that um, is extra journaling space for you. Uh, some more of that scrap paper from the tag that's on the front with a little floral die cut there. Um, you had some wrinkle in this food color dyed paper that I added to the book. So I just kind of covered up that wrinkle for you so you'd have some even writing space there. And then see on the back, you can see that wrinkle pretty good. You can still write over it, but um, you might want to just be careful as far as getting your writing done on the back of that page. Um, once I hand dye paper, if it doesn't all get laid exactly straight flat, um, I get wrinkles every once in a while. Uh, this is just a little stamped image there on the edge of that page. And then this is some more of that wallpaper paper that I tore and put on the edge of this page and I'm going to have to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this washi because it's not wanting to stay down and that's okay. I'm going to try to get it to come up on this end too. Put a little bit there because I don't want it to come up on you. Okay. And then, make sure I don't have any glue that's going to stick to my other page here. And that's a good grip too at the top. So if you're going through your journal, you can got a nice little tab at the top of it for you. So your pages maybe don't stick together. Uh, another piece of book page from this actual original book with some lace trim over the top of it. Another one of the floral die cuts. And then on the back, we've got a little tuck space here. So this is a tuck. This is some fabric that um, I just cut this key image out of the fabric. And it goes along with that fabric there. And then this is some of the off cut from another piece that I used in here, there it is, that piece. Here's the little offcuts, and they just tuck right in there. So you can use those as extra little notes or whatever you would like that gets tucked right in there. And then you've got another pocket here on the back with a tag writing space on it. This opens up writing space on it. So there you go. There is the shabby chic altered book journal. I don't make a lot of hardcover journals on my page. Um, I need to do that more often because these are really, really fun. Um, I just don't do it a lot. But I saw Miss Paula Probus. Um, I saw her journal that um, she made me and it gave me inspiration and I decided, you know, because she made hers from an old Reader's Digest book. So that was her cover. So she gave me lots of inspiration. And I thank you, Paula. And I thank you, Tanya, for ordering. And I thank y'all for watching. I will have some still shots at the end. Y'all have a great day. God bless. I will see you in the next video. Love ya. Bye, y'all.